What's up my ninjas, it's D here, and today we're going to go over 310. It is a free app on Steam, so you can easily just download it through the Steam software. The first thing you're gonna do is to change the settings. You're gonna notice that everything is in Japanese, so we're gonna change it to English. What you're gonna do is go to the settings on the right side, this little cogwheel, go to the pink highlighted bar, the second one is language. You're going to go to the second one under that drop down menu and it's English. When you exit out of this, it's going to ask you to save. So of course hit save. So the first thing we're going to do is go over the motion controls. You're going to use your mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Use your right mouse button to move it and to rotate your avatar. You're going to hit this rotate arrow on the right, right side, right side. You're going to hit this rotate arrow on the right side, click that, and use your right mouse button to rotate your avatar. And that's it. Pretty simple. Go back to this arrow thing to actually move it. So we're going to start from the left side, go to the right. So first thing you're going to do is to import your avatar. I have mine already imported. To do so, you're just going to go to the avatar selection on the left side, and then just import your avatar, hit add, find wherever your VRM file is, and just hit select, and import whatever you want into it. So starting from the top, we're gonna to go facial expressions of your avatar. It's pretty neat because all of these, you know, you can easily just change it however you want. You will notice that my expressions do not look the same as yours, and that's because I customized mine, which you can commission me to do for your own. I added all these little emotes. These are all additional things that are done in Unity. I also added all these special faces that you guys will not have, but you know, I can do this stuff, so feel free to DM me below. My Discord will be there if you want me to make stuff like this for you. So underneath facial is movement. So you're gonna see all these poses. It's really cool what it does. You can even make your avatar move and dance. It does its own thing. These are all pre-rigged, all moving. So it's really neat. Um, I really like to use 310 to create like thumbnails for my videos. As you'll notice, this is what I use to do it. So below movement for avatar is effects. It's pretty neat what's already on 310, like all these effects are just there. And you can easily just make a shortcut for these so that when you're streaming, you can just have this happen. So you're just going to open shortcuts right here and you just kind of, you pick whichever one you want to move. So if I do this and I put like M, so now whenever I press M, that's going to happen. You have to have 310 selected and then press whatever your uh, shortcut is because if you're playing a game on the side and pressing M nothing's happening you need to press 310 do your shortcut and it'll work all right so skip avatar selection we went over that we're gonna go over scene camera angles or do the reading I don't know what the last part of that means but basically this is to like copy you're gonna like copy this position that you want so say that for whatever reason is zoomed out you're just gonna hit something you made which I've made quite a few, hit read and it auto zooms there to show you what this is like. You want this position. We're gonna do add current angle to list. If you wanna rename it, click it and then change name and there it is. So whenever I mess around, I can just auto read it and it goes back to this. If you don't like it, delete it like that. All right, next is set the background. So in order to do your PNG images, so you have a, you know, no background, you're gonna to go to custom color, transparent background for screenshots, and this is it. So now when you take a screenshot or a video, which is actually the very bottom, if you just press this, it will be transparent. If whatever reason you wanna put like a fun image, you can just add your image and do that. So this is what I do for my, uh, you'll notice I use this a lot for showcasing avatars and whatever, this one. Uh, let's see, after that is you can put items into the scene and honestly I don't mess with this so if that's something you want to do, yeah meh. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have much info on this part. Uh, ignore the memo window, that's just information about 310. These are your screenshot and then your video. When you hit screenshot, this thing is going to save into your 310 folder. To figure out where your 310 folder is, go to settings recording and you can change this to wherever you want it to be, change the format of your photos. So I changed it to PNG, obviously. Um, and yeah, so you can pick where you want these to be. And this is the folder that all your screenshots and your videos are gonna save into. So make sure you know where these are. So now that we're done with the left side, we're gonna go to the right side. This is to actually turn your webcam on. 
Right now, my webcam is being used by a different program, which you'll see, yeah. So it's not going to be able to read my webcam because it's already being used by VC Face, which is what I'm using to do this. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, ignore that. That's it. But yeah. But when you, you know, hook up your webcam, you're going to want to start this and start this. And body operation, um, also start it if you have leap motion, but if not, don't do it. Otherwise, it's just another thing that your PC has to process. So that's up here. Avatar adjustments are kind of just, it's kind of just like your preference of what you want your avatar to do, really. Um, I left it the way it is. I didn't touch any of this because I don't really have much preference. What you will need to know is that this is where you change your webcam. So if whatever reason you have a couple webcams, you want to change it to the one that will actually read your stuff. So this is where it is. Um, yeah, so you don't really need to do mic, honestly, because your stream lab should be capturing your mic. Not a big deal. After that is reset the position and orientation of the camera. It basically means if whatever reason you're like, where's my avatar? Click that, this is the reset default position. We went over these, this is how you move your avatar. Now this will show your webcam if it's activated. Because my webcam isn't actually activated, this isn't gonna do anything. But when you activate it, something appears down here that's like, hey, look, this is you. This is if your webcam ever goes screwy. So say like your face is for whatever reason looking this way, just hit that and it resets to whatever default you want. Now this is cool. If you didn't know, 310 does have leap motion capabilities, which means it can track your hands, like VC face, like this. Um, you can see it right here. You know, that's my hands. But if I had everything tracking right now, it'd be able to track my hands, is what this button means. So yeah, if you have leap motion, you can do it in 310. Pretty cool. Otherwise, you know, VC face also works. Uh, another question I sometimes get is about this window. You'll see that this window is the whatever size. If you wanted to fulfill your whole screen, change it here, just like that. I don't know, I'm used to using it small because I just like using it small. You can change the details. I should probably be doing this at higher, but yeah. Full screen, this is gonna get too big now. There you go but I don't like full screen, so I use window and change it, yeah, change it here, guys. This is where it is, settings, system, window setting, ta-da. Uh, yeah, and that's save your settings, you know, so every time you open this, it can do its own thing. So every time you open this, it will be in the same um, settings. You will notice, though, that when you reopen this app, everything gets reset, like the position of your avatar, the the face of, that of your avatar, woo, <laughs> the face of your avatar, and uh, the angle, it all gets reset. It goes back to like the standard. It'll look just like this. And every time you reopen this app, you have to change it step by step. I don't know why, it just kind of does that. Now, if you're trying to use 310 to stream, I have a different tutorial for that that I've already made, and that will be linked below. So this is just to go over 310. This is not for streaming. If you want to figure out how to use 310 for streaming, click that link below, okay? Cool. And that's about it. So 310 is really simple, free program. It's pretty neat. And if this helps you out or if you know, you're know you watching this, please subscribe and please like this video. It really does help my channel out and I would love to make more content like this. So hope this helped. Feel free to ask any questions that you may have, but I hope that you watch the whole video before asking any questions, please and thank you. Okay, okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.